Now if you watch the previous training video on using default templates, we haven't saved it yet and we want to do that now. Now I want to show you the difference between saving and save as. First of all, anytime you create something new in PowerPoint, it gives you a generic title here, right? Presentation 2. Well, this is my show, so I want to go ahead and save it so I know, first of all, so I don't lose it. And when I save it, it's going to ask me two questions. So there's two ways of saving it. Well, there's quite a few. Actually, up here, there's a quick access toolbar with the Save button. You can click on that. It gives you a little shortcut pop-up, Control-S, or you can click on the Office Logo button and choose Save. When you choose Save, it's going to ask you two questions. First of all, it's going to say, where do you want to save me in this little window right here? And you can see the address up at the top. Do you want to save me in the Documents folder, in the Training folder? How about if I just go to the desktop, because I put a folder on my desktop to save all my exercises in. You can click on the New Folder button, it adds a new folder, and if you wanted to, you could say it's My Presentation. Anyways, when you're done typing, hit Enter. It does two things. It creates the folder, and it dumps you in the folder. See that? If you click on the little drop-down arrow to the left of it, you can say above this folder that you're in is the desktop. So go to your desktop, and you're there again. And you can see My Presen. In any case, I don't want to deal with that. I'm just going to go ahead and right-click it come down and left click and delete it and say yes and throw it to the garbage can because I have my folder, it's the exercise folder, so I'm going to double click on that and it's my show or I can call it, well, it's not really my show, it's Kurt's show. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Kurt and then click save. Now that I saved it, it knows the name and it knows where it's supposed to be saved as. So if I come in here and I make any changes, like instead of my show, I click in here and say, well, it's actually Kurt's show. Once I type it in and replace the text, click off in a blank area, I can go ahead and click the Save button again, either on the Quick Access Toolbar or on the Office Logo button, click Save, it doesn't matter, or Control S. Now when I click Save the second time, notice it didn't ask us the two questions, where do you want to save me and what's my name? Because we already identified where it should be saved and what the name of the presentation should be. So it's set. So anytime you save anything for the first time, whether it be PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Excel, it's going to ask you, where do you want to save me and what's my name? Once you give it a name and you give it a place to save at, it won't give you that dialog box open ever again. Okay? As long as you're clicking Save. The Save button only asks you that for the first time. It performs what's called a Save As. The Save As is basically asking you two questions. Save it as what and where do you want to save it? So let's say I do my show here, okay? I'm done with that. The PowerPoint presentation looks good. And all of a sudden I come back and I go, you know what? I want this to be your show. I want to do another presentation for my neighbor here. So I want to click somewhere in here. Let's say my neighbor is Bob. Type in Bob, replace it. Click off in a blank area. Now if I save it, that's going to be wrong, right? Because up in the title bar it says, look, this is Kurt's presentation. Why don't you go ahead and create a copy of this and call it Bob's presentation. So up in the title bar it's going to be Bob. So I don't confuse him. Because if I open this up, I'm assuming because of the title that it's Kurt, right? Well, what I want to do is I want to save it as another presentation. So if I click Save, I'm going to overwrite this, and I don't want to. In other words, it's going to be Bob here, and it's going to leave Kurt up here. I want to save it as Bob's show and have Bob's information in all these slides here. So I'm going to do a Save As. How do you do it? Well, you can add it to your Quick Access Toolbar, the Save As button here, or hit F12, or you can click on the Office Logo button, come down to Save As, I know it opens up this little menu over to the right hand side, but ignore it. Just click on the Save As right there. And it's going to ask you two questions again. It's going to say, OK, you're not saving this for the first time because you've already saved it. So I'm going to ask you the question again, but this time because you're doing a Save As. What do you want to save it as? As what? I want to save it as, well, I want to come down here and type in Bob. Because I don't want to overwrite my previous show that has all of Kurt's information in here because I changed it here I want to rename it so it's going to be Bob. Now notice that it automatically dumped me in the exercise folder which is on the desktop. Okay? You can always go to the desktop and double click on the exercise folder but it remembers the most recent folder you were saving presentations in. So since I'm here I might as well go ahead and click Save. Notice up at the top it's now Bob Show. The title is now Bob. Well, let's take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Remember I saved both of them in the exercise folder. Double click. There's my show, and there's Bob's. So if I go ahead and double-click on Bob, hey, Bob's back. Great. Remember, save is any time you want to save something for the first time, it's going to perform a Save As. It opens up that Save As window, says what do you want to save it as, and where do you want to save it. Then after that, it remembers where it's supposed to be saved and what the name is, as you see up in the title bar. But if you want to make a copy of this and save it as a copy, then go ahead and, again, click on the Office logo and do your Save As. Force the Save As to come up, that window, and go ahead and name it something else and put it in a different folder on the desktop that's fine and be sure to save your work when you're done so now that I'm in here I can go ahead and make any changes click save when I click save it's always going to be to the Bob PowerPoint presentation here
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.